we are at the McKenna Beach and Golf Resort with Corey Snyder, coach of Nakoa Ikaika Baseball. Coach, you got to be happy. You know, uh, it's great these days. You know, kind of we, uh, kind of a few things happen in the league, and we actually have kind of a little paid vacation. So it's kind of been uh, fun to come out here at McKenna Beach, kind of hang out with the players, and uh, you know, get to know them a little better. Explain to me exactly what happened. Can we talk about that, or do we have to be hush about that? You tell me. No, we're we're okay. I think I think kind of is you know what's happened is they. Uh, because of the playing conditions in Tucson and the travel conditions they had and a few things that have kind of gone on, they, uh, I've been told they're going to kind of be a traveling team. Right. So for us to go there, you know, and not sure if we're going to play them because they don't have a place to play right now, to go there and play Yuma two, you know, two games and Tucson two games, it just wasn't worth the trip to all go over there with the wear and tear and the price and things like that. It's easier just to stay here. And we're going to make up the two games against Yuma. Since we've already won the first half, we're in. We don't have to worry about Tucson, and uh, it's going to be, uh, you know, best, uh, you know, not really best record, but best percentage of winning. So, as an expansion team here on the island of Maui, we're showing aloha to the other guys to say, hey, "Bra, if it, the conditions aren't right, we invite you to play with us here. We open our arms." That's exactly it, yep. and that's, uh, you know, that's that's what's good about it. You know, it's actually good for us. You know, I don't want to take my team over there and have to fly all day you know, play four games and have to fly all the way back. So it's better for us just to stay here, uh, you know, make up to uh, Yuma's games here, which is nice, and bring them over here and show them the island, show them kind of what it's all about. And uh, to be honest, they're uh, real happy to do that. You know, what's interesting for me is every guy that we've interviewed from the beginning to the end, I mean, we've, we've got a relationship going now. These guys love playing together. They do. You know, it's been, uh, you know, I've been been doing this for about four years now, and I've had some good clubs, some good ball players, but uh, these guys seem like they really love playing with each other. Right. You know, they enjoy off the field. It's kind of like they're, they're brothers always. Right. You know, it's like they battle on the field, and then off the field, they kind of like fight sometimes like brothers. Sure. And it's one of those things to where when you're with them on the field, off the field, in the clubhouse, at the hotels, on the bus, you're with each other a long time and you're going to get on each other's nerves, but um, it's just they go through it, they work it out, they kiss and make up, and we move forward. You know what's interesting is that, you know, raising kids can be a pain. Now you're raising men and you're asking them to perform day in and day out. You're asking them to give, dig deep, brother, and pull something out of there so we can win this game. Has it been hard for you? You know, it's just, um, you know, there, there's times when it's hard. But uh, to be honest, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it's just I know what it takes to compete in this league. Yeah. And what's nice is I can I can get the guys that I feel that can compete in this league that have the talent to compete. And then after that, I can do only so much. Sure. I can work with them in the cage. I can work with them on the side of the field. I can get themselves mentally ready. But then at the end of the day, for three and a half hours, they're on the field. They're battling with each other to win the game. And that's what it's all about is doing what you can to prepare them. And then after that, it's kind of up to them, and they've done just a great job this year. Lantini's got nine home runs. Uh, O'Connell's got seven. Avlas has got seven. The guys are hitting the ball. Expansion team, assembling the guys. Tell me a little bit about that. I mean, that's a little mystery going on, or is this just bringing talent out of the guys? You know, I think I think it's a little bit, of, you know, pretty much a little bit of both. You know, it's one of those things to where um, I, I know what talent it is, but for me it's kind of been fun because I've really learned how to manage a different game. Yeah. Being in St. George for three years, the ball flies, it's a little ballpark, I get power guys to hit the ball out of the park, but here it's a different game. The ball doesn't fly as much, so you know we got to use our speed, we got to hit and run, we got to bunts, and every once in a while a guy's going to pop one out of here. So majority of our home runs are going to come on the road, but we have power to compete with any team. But we also have the speed and the hit and run, the guys that know how to put the ball in play to get things done also here too. So it's been it's been fun for me. It's been a challenge for me just because it's a different team. I had to assemble more of a speed team. Right. But uh, all in all, it's been uh, it's been very good. You know, with Jared being on the team, you know, he, he, he was leading the league in batting. I don't know where he is right now, but you, these guys didn't come out to start to be home run hitters, and these guys didn't start out to be, you know, guys who are just based on getting, getting on base. Um, there's a magic in these islands. I hate to continue saying that, the Maui magic of the Nicoya Kaika baseball team, but man, I, I got to say that these guys have stepped up. I don't know if it's the weather, I don't know if it's the salt water, or I don't know if it's the culture. It's got to be a little bit of everything. I think it is a little bit of everything. You know, it's it's been nice because I think the kids, um, I mean, I call them kids because yeah. they're only, you know, 20, you know, 25, 27 <laughs> years old, but uh, it, it's kind of one of those things. And the tall pitcher is thankful for that too, sir. That's exactly. I'll call him a kid too. He's still younger than me, so it's good to go. 
So, but it's uh, you know, it's just they have they have the layback atmosphere here, which is nice. But we have that home field advantage because we know how to play this field. Sure. And they come to the ballpark, they're relaxed, they're comfortable being here, they're playing well, they understand what it's all about. And on top of that, to be honest, the fans have been unbelievable from start to finish. Not as many, in, you know, in the beginning, and I think not because they didn't, you know, they weren't good, but right. they didn't know we were here. And people are starting to understand yeah. we're here, we're on the island, we, you know, we represent Maui in the Golden Baseball League, and it's just whether we have five or 600 or 1,500, we know they're there. Right. Because they root us on, they're loud in the stands, we've got our group that's up there, you know, that, uh, you know, has their bottles with rocks in them, and I mean, it's just neat. They got their cowbells <laughs> out there, and it's just, uh, they love it, it's fun. You walk around the community, it's nice to, you know, to walk over to Queen K Mall and, you know, go in a store and say, hey, or on the beach. That's right. Say, aren't you the manager of the Kaika team? Yep. And I said, yeah. And they go, hey, you guys are doing great. And it's it's nice to see that. And uh, you know what? Baseball is huge over here in Maui. Yeah. And it's been really neat to see. And they love their baseball. And you know what? As time goes goes further um, through this year and also through next year, I think it's going to be neat to uh, to keep bringing winners here. What's interesting for me is I've appeared in over 400, motion, uh, 400 hours of television, over 100 motion pictures, and guys here saying, you're the guy for the baseball team. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good. Yeah. It's, it's not all bad, but you know what? It uh, you know if we can all hug each other and do things, you know it's nothing better. You know, um, it's enlightening for me to, to to talk to these guys. And you know, when we're talking on the field, they talk as all business. We've had the opportunity here at the McKenna uh, Resort to go ahead and talk as people, and 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 these guys always refer to this family. Amazing to you? You know, the it's, baseball uh, family. It is. You know, it's just uh, it is a huge baseball family. Whether you're in the big leagues or Triple A big league, right. you're in a baseball family, and uh, that's the way. You know, that's the way I try to bring it. I mean, I'm a family man. I've got six kids myself, so I try to bring that out. As you know, what I care about the players on and off the field, mm -hmm. and I think that helps them. That you know what, whether you have a good day or a bad day, you know what, it's baseball. You're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days. But you know what, you always got tomorrow to look forward to. Yeah. And uh, it's just. We are, you know, pretty much the players say we are a family. We are on the field together, we're off the field together, we're in a fight together. And that's what it's all about. And at the end of the day, um, we're all in it together to, uh, to bring a championship here to Maui. Gregorio showed me an interesting ring. He, uh, he has a championship ring, yep. and uh, we, uh, we want to get him another one. I think there's two or three guys that have some here, but uh, I think they'd love to have one from Maui. I, I, I think we would. I think we would definitely. Uh, Corey, you know what? Uh, we not only have fans here in Maui, but because of our uh, YouTube Nikoi Kaika station, we've got a lot of fans in Japan. We've got a lot of fans across the board. I'm going to give you the mic. I'm going to let you go ahead and say your alohas to them, and thank you for the support. But this has got to be an interesting for an expansion team. I know it's ex interesting. We're all learning as time goes on, especially from the uh, electronic media side. You know, those fans are, are watching us. They're following us. I'm going to let you go ahead and say a few words to them, and I'm going to leave you alone. Let's go with that. Okay, well, to all the fans out there, you know, it's the first year for uh, the Koi Kaika Baseball, and uh, it's neat to have guys from the Dominican Republic, guys from Japan, guys from the mainland, uh, and more importantly, guys from Maui and also Oahu. So it's been, uh, it's been real neat to, to work with these kids. Um, they're great kids. I enjoy them. I love every one of them. Um, on and off the field, they've been uh, unbelievable to be with through this whole year. And I want to thank everybody, wherever you're at, um, for coming out and supporting us, either uh, on the internet, on YouTube, wherever it may be. But uh, if you get a chance to come here in Maui and check us out, um, it's just been an amazing year, and hopefully we can keep this thing going and uh, get ourselves a ring here on Maui.